Foldex Cat vs Egyptian Mao Cat What are the differences between these two cat breeds? The history of the Foldex begins in 1992 in Quebec, Canada when they first started popping up on the scene. The breed was a big draw when they began appearing in cat shows due to their super cute looks. A lot of the subsequent development of the Foldex is credited to a breeder named Jean Barrett. The Foldex was officially granted full championship status by the Canadian Cat Association in 2010. These days, you can find Foldexes in shelters or in the care of rescue groups. So make sure to consider adoption if you decide that this is the breed for you. Whether the Mao is a product of thousands of years of Egyptian culture is a matter of debate, but if fanciers of the strikingly spotted cats wish to claim that they date to the times of the pharaohs, well, who knows? It could be true. The Egyptian Mao, Mao being the Egyptian word for cat, is notable for being the only naturally spotted domesticated cat. In other words, the spotting pattern was not created by human manipulation of feline genes. The cats were known in Europe before World War II, but the devastation of the war left the breed in a perilous state. The breed as it is known today dates to a silver female kitten given to Russian Princess Natalie Trubetskoy when she was living in Rome. Depending on the story, the kitten was given to her by a young boy who had been keeping it in a shoebox or she acquired one from the Egyptian ambassador to Italy. The Foldex is a breed of cat that you'll see in almost every cat color available, and in patterns that include tabby and calico. When it comes to grooming, this will totally depend on whether your Foldex is a long or short-haired kitty. If you have a short-haired Foldex, brushing their coat once a week should suffice. But a long-haired Foldex will require more frequent brushing to help lessen the chances of hairballs and mats forming. Aim for every other day although the breed will happily take to daily brushing sessions. In terms of climate, the Foldex is generally an adaptable breed of cat. Although you should always make sure that there's enough shade and fresh water available during the hotter months. The Mao's most striking characteristic is his spotted coat in silver, bronze or smoke, pale silver fur tipped in black, closely followed by his large gooseberry green eyes. He is a medium-sized cat with a muscular body and a slightly rounded wedge-shaped head topped with medium-sized to large ears. With hind legs slightly longer than the front legs, he gives the appearance of standing on tiptoe on his small, dainty feet. A medium long tail is thick at the base, tapering slightly at the end. The medium length coat has a silky, fine texture in the smoke coloration and a dense, resilient texture in the silver and bronze colors. The body is covered randomly with distinct spots that can be small or large, and round, oblong or other shapes. The forehead bears an M shape, the cheeks are adorned with mascara lines and the tail is banded, ending with a dark tip. On the pale belly are dark spots that resemble vest buttons. In addition to the silver, bronze and smoke colors, mouse can come in solid black, blue silver, blue spotted, a dilute version of bronze, blue smoke and solid blue, but these colors are not permitted in the show ring. These cats of a different color make fine pets, however, sharing all the other characteristics of the Mao. Hello. This video is sponsored by BMix Pets. Are you looking for high quality cat collars at an affordable cost? Check out bmixpets.com. Use coupon code KITTENLIFE to get 20% off. When it comes to the Foldex's personality, you'll struggle to come across a more loving and people-friendly cat breed. These are felines who absolutely love cuddle and snuggle sessions with the humans in their life. At times, you might become convinced you're actually hanging out with a teddy bear as you lounge together on the couch or the bed. It follows that the Foldex is a cat who adores being petted, which also means they bring a soothing presence to the household. Along with being adorable, the Foldex has a strong inquisitive streak, so make sure to provide smart interactive toys to keep the breed mentally stimulated, along with suitable cat furniture so they can explore and play at their own pace. These sweet felines are also exceptionally approachable, making them a great fit for big families or homes where there's a large amount of people always coming and going. When the Egyptian Mao is happy, you know it. He vocalizes, called chortling, in a quiet, pleasant voice, swishes his tail rapidly, and kneads with his front paws. What makes him happy is being with his family, to whom he is fiercely devoted, or showing off his hunting prowess by chasing and retrieving a tossed toy or stalking and pouncing on a wriggling lure at the end of a fishing pole toy. This is a moderately to highly active cat. He likes to jump and climb and will appreciate a tall cat tree, a window perch or two, and a sturdy scratching post that allows him to stretch out to full height. The Mao also enjoys playing in water. Don't be surprised to find him dipping a paw into your koi pond or aquarium, turning on the tap in the bathroom or kitchen, or splashing water out of your pool, or his water dish. The Egyptian Mao prefers family members to anyone else. When he's not playing fetch, he enjoys sitting in a lap and being worshipped, just as his ancestors may have been. 
The Mao has the distinction of being the fastest domestic house cat, as she can run at speeds of up to 30 miles per hour. As with all cats, it's important to keep up your Foldex as regular veterinary checkups to detect any health concerns early. Your vet can help you develop a care routine that will keep your cat healthy. The Egyptian mouse coat is easily cared for with weekly combing to remove dead hair and distribute skin oils. A bath is rarely necessary. Brush the teeth to prevent periodontal disease. Daily dental hygiene is best, but weekly brushing is better than nothing. Trim the nails every couple of weeks. Wipe the corners of the eyes with a soft, damp cloth to remove any discharge. Use a separate area of the cloth for each eye so you don't run the risk of spreading any infection. Check the ears weekly. If they look dirty, wipe them out with a cotton ball or soft damp cloth moistened with a 50 to 50 mixture of cider vinegar and warm water. Avoid using cotton swabs, which can damage the interior of the ear. Keep the litter box spotlessly clean. Cats are very particular about bathroom hygiene, and a dirty box may cause them to start using other places in the house instead. It's a good idea to keep them as an indoor-only cats to protect them from diseases spread by other cats, attacks by dogs or coyotes, and the other dangers that face cats who go outdoors, such as being hit by a car. Keeping mouse indoors also protects local birds and wildlife from this avid hunter. Egyptian mouse who go outdoors also run the risk of being stolen by someone who would like to have such a beautiful cat without paying for it. The Foldex is a friendly feline who does very well with young children. Just be sure that early socialization takes place and boundaries are properly set on both sides, and supervise early interactions between kids and cats. When it comes to other household pets, the Foldex fares well with many domestic animals, including dogs. Always supervise early interactions between the new cat and existing pets. Ultimately, early socialization really pays off with this breed. Make sure to reward your Foldex for good behavior when you bring them home to your family. The active and playful Mao is a perfect choice for families with children and cat-friendly dogs. He will play fetch as well as any retriever, learns tricks easily and loves the attention he receives from children who treat him politely and with respect. He's smart enough to get out of the way of toddlers but loves school-age children because they are a match for his energy level and curiosity. Nothing scares him, certainly not dogs, and he will happily make friends with them if they don't give him any trouble. He is a skilled hunter, however, and pet birds or other small animals are probably not safe in his presence. Always introduce any pets, even other cats, slowly and in a controlled setting. If you enjoyed this video, kindly press the like button. Also don't forget to subscribe with notifications on, so that you don't miss out on videos like this. Thank you for watching.